they talk about it. But you know it's all fine. But who can say that I would be the man of your dreams? I will do all that I can and be all I can. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Ali LaForce. When you think about elite teams in this league, they're one of the first that jumps to mind. And they've been dominant as expected. Well, they just looked like they were on a... Autopilot for most of it, to be honest with you, effortlessly dominating, super impressive. This team has it going. And it's Barrett off the drive. Oh, and he slams it in one-handed. From Alex. You love that. Just that quick first step and RJ up and over the D. To the inside. Crowder. No luck on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Burks. He's now one for two with that bucket. Yes. And Grant, how often do players check in on their own stats during a season? B.A., everybody in the league watches their numbers. Some guys are just willing to admit it. Now here's Aiden. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. And again, it's the Suns missing. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. For three, Randall. Tries again. Shot's no good by Noel. Great to have Noel active like that, proving how dangerous he can be on the inside. Pass to Aiden. And it's stolen by Noel. And here we go, the Nixon transition. The shot by Fournier, no good. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Now here's Paul. He picked up 10 in his last game. Outside Booker. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Now Booker is a special offensive player. Can score and starting to show his playmaking. Here's Randall. And the layup falls. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Here's Paul. Chris and he makes it. Well, Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. The Knicks with the lead. 
incredible leader Chris Paul is. So much talked about leading up to last year and their appearance in the finals. And there's a reason why he's one of the greatest point guards of all time. And here we go, the Knicks in transition. Count it. Julius Randle. Yeah, he's going to find a way to score. RJ sniffing out the opportunity there. Booker attacking. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And Paul, as you mentioned, the quintessential leader in the NBA. Well, you think about selflessness at the point guard position, and Chris Paul has been about that his entire career. And he knows the game inside and out. He's remarkable. Barrett can't hit. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. And Aiton with the stuff. Timeout. Chris Paul yeah. at his best right there on that kind of play. A legendary distributor who spots the open man. It's Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. Last season, they got swept in a two-game season series against this opponent. I'm sure they're looking for payback tonight. And this one of the few opponents who really stuck it to them during what was an otherwise excellent season for them. You're right. They've got to have revenge All on their minds the tonight. Coming onto the court. Come on again, Powell, for your next city dancer. Obi Toppin. Here's Rose. Emmanuel quickly. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Right side, Robinson. Outside, Barrett. Tipped. Here's Aiton. The kick out to Paul. Can't get the go ahead bucket. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Bridges. It's Make good it on Bridges. the putback. And it's a tie ball game. Bridges on the inside just hitting the offensive glass. That's great hustle. Barrett can't hit. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Now the seven foot four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot, swatted away. Now here's Robinson. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Passed it quickly. Just five on the clock. Hey, as long as you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next That's best thing. First, first one falls. At the line for the Knicks. And quickly drops them both. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Aiden with it. Robinson defending. Aiden, no good. Here's quickly. Lays it up and banks it in. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. Here's Paul. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that concludes. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Knicks with the possession here. And here's New York now. Four-point game. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. They failed to create enough good looks. The ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. We could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. 
And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench players, this team is well balanced and we compete. We challenge each other every day. To be honest, it's the best team I've ever been on throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That they are, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Booker. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. To the middle. Here's Aiden. And it's going to be a three-second call. New York ball. Substitution for your Knicks. Taj Gibson. Rose outside. Julius Randall. Evan Fournier. Outside Burks. Alec Burks. Outside Fournier. Here's Randall. And they recover it. Second chance effort. They shoot again. And it's good on the layup. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Suns timeout. Phoenix calls timeout. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know what? I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick up. Hard defenses at any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. The sun's trailing. Here's Paul. A steady force on their offense, recording around 14 and a half a game. Just love to see Chris Paul operate in that area. Slows himself down. Great balance. That's one of his many strengths. Rose with the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. One thing about Derrick Rose that's never changed over the years, Grant, is his ability to come through in the clutch. When a big basket is needed, he's the guy you want on the court. Well, how many times have we seen it? End of game situation, Rose in an isolation set. And even against the double team, he finds a way to shake free and get the bucket. As dependable as it gets when the pressure's on. Now here's Bridges. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. Here's Aiton. It's rebounded by New York. Rose outside. And he dunks it down. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Well, a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Up top, Paul. Pass to Aiden. Here's Crowder. Fires the three. That one falls. He's now one for three. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Burks with it. Now here's Fournier. Randall, right side. Pocket six. 
Over Crowder. Randall, good. Randall's got four points this quarter. That's a good try on defense, but with a scorer like Randall, it's just not enough. Outside for Booker. Randall with a steal. And now the Knicks on the break. Finished off the break. And now a nine-point Nick lead. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for New York? They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. I also love the early energy that they've played with, pushing the ball every chance they get, exploring quick shots, and showing some serious fast break offense. Here's Randall. Oh, rejected by Aiton. Oh, he has the size and can get up quickly. Aiton with the throwback. Shot clock at five. Here's Fournier. That one's wide left. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Hale Bridges. And the basket Three by Bridges. Points. Bridges finding his spot, and his team finds him with the ball. Good mechanics there, too. And they pick up two. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Ball from deep three-point land. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Pass to Booker. Inside. Aiton. DeAndre Aiton. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Aiton's got eight. The defense gets physical, but Aiton doesn't seem to get knocked off a of balance. That helps him to keep the focus. Defense mm. slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. His first personal. Nerlens Noel, since coming into the league, seemingly has fought an uphill battle to try to find a role on a team where he can consistently make key contributions. Let's hope it's now. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. And the second free throw is good. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting, but he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. Now here's Paul. From the high post. Goes up again. And here's Crowder from the arc. Randall pulls down the board. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. Now here's Burks. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Now a timeout call by New York. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Hold the right strings. That's what they love to do. Here's Toppin. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Fournier for three. Their first missed after hitting three straight shots, but I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Paul. He has six. Over Fournier. Booker for three. 
And Toppin pulls it down. The Knicks with the lead. Quickly outside. Takes the three. And again, the Knicks missing. Phoenix with the ball. Looking ahead to the next game. Playing at Los Angeles. They'll match up against the Clippers. Does it feel good as a big man like Aiton to throw it down? I bet it does. Left side, Robinson. Quickly, outside. Oh, there's the alley! Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And Aiden gets it to go. From And now just a three-point Nick lead. And the skill is growing maybe right in front of our eyes here for DeAndre Aiden. Nice. That one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Now here's Paul. Over quickly. And here's Paul. Driving inside. Pass to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ball game. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Now a timeout called by New York. Crowder was in high demand as a free agent in 2020. A lot of people wanting his toughness on their roster. That was your Knicks City answer. Make some noise. 114 left to the third. Pass to Toppin. Quickly outside. Now Robinson. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And the Knicks lead by one. How about that shot? Not exactly something drawn up by the coaching staff. And there's the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Fournier's got eight points. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Pass to Paul. Thirty-four seconds left in the third quarter. You know, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. Now here's Robinson. Kicks it to quickly. Now Barrett. Just five to shoot. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Toppin' shot is off. That goes on Jay Crowder. That'll be a second foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. It's the Knicks. Substitution for your Knicks. Julius Randle. Alec Burks. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. It's the fourth quarter. Get up. Noel puts it up from 12. Count it. The Suns trailing. Up top, Paul. Aiden with it. And it's blocked by Noel. And Noel in there to intimidate and does so there. Good on the bucket. Knicks lead by seven. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for New York. We've seen them make the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. I also love the fact that they've played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. Phoenix five. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. 
first An excellent count. finisher who loves to bring the intensity. The Rose will challenge anybody at the rim. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Shoots it from the high post. Chris Paul with the bucket. That's why Chris Paul is so special is because he can just navigate around pick and rolls, find open areas, and there's just no defense for that. Rose outside. Takes it inside. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. That play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Pass to Aiden. The shot. It's rebounded by New York. The drive by Randall. And it's good for two. And now it's an 11-point Nick lead. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Paul. Pass to Crowder. Back to Aiden. And he lays it up and in. Aiden's got 10 points in just the second half. Well, again, with that kind of size, DeAndre Aiden is going to draw some fouls and does not shy away from contact. Stop. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two That's shots coming up. Personal. That free throw misses. Yeah, they've really made a concerted the effort to get to the line here in the second half. Derek Rowe. Phoenix calls timeout. The line. They're giving two up shots. a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to Some address here. Out. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. The in the timeout, the they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Oh. Let's see it, fans. from Ali. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Monty Williams was saying to his team. He was trying to ignite some fire, saying, where's the fight, you guys? You know we can compete with this team, but we're letting them run all over us. We've got to level up the aggressiveness. Back to you. Great work, Ali. Thanks. Here's Paul. And the bucket is good. Paul's gotten four this quarter. Love the deft touch from Chris Paul on the floater there. His timing on those shots sublime. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. The kick out to Paul. The putback. It doesn't go for him. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, oh. Oh, that's nuts. Randall getting up there, turning a little bit, putting on a bit of a show here. Now here's Paul. Six to shoot. Yep, that one goes. Chris Paul. For an undersized player, Chris Paul's a pretty good finisher around the rim. Certainly knows all the angles. Pass to Randall. Rose outside. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And he shows the focus there. Nails the team. For your New York Knicks, Mitchell Robinson. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Rose to the paint. Here's Robinson. Four on the clock. Pass to Barrett. And he stays with it. They grab the long rebound, resetting the shot clock. Out to Rose. Tries yet again. The rebound by Bridges. Outside Booker. Shoots over Burks. 
It's hauled in by Robinson. Well, Grant, this game looks just about over. B.A., all they really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wreck. Peyton with the defensive effort. And it's Phoenix's ball. They trail by 11. Here's Paul. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Randall inside. Off with the layup. Paul with it. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson.